Good morning, students. This is Miss Williams. Today is Tuesday. It is April the 14th. And today's activity involves folding paper. You're going to need a piece of binder paper, actually two pieces of binder paper, and a pen and a calculator for this activity. Set up your first piece of paper the way mine is set up here on the screen. I'll pause the video while you set it up. Okay, now that you have your paper set up, get your second piece of paper, which could be a piece of uh, printer paper or a piece of binder paper. It doesn't matter, but it should be about the same size as a piece of binder paper. And we are going to fold that piece of paper. But we're going to start off with a zero folds. When you have zero folds, you have one layer of paper. Then you're going to fold the paper once. And when you fold your paper once, you have two layers of paper. So when there's one fold, you have two layers of paper. You continue and fold your paper again. Whoops. You now have two folds. And if you count the layers of paper, you have four layers of paper. I would like you to continue folding until you cannot fold anymore. Pause the video and fold the paper and record the number of layers you have each time. All right. When you did three folds, you should have a total of eight layers of paper. Four folds, you have 16 layers of paper. Five folds, you have 32 layers of paper. Six folds, you have 64 layers of paper. Let's see if I can make those folds. So this is my third fold, and I have eight layers. Fourth fold, I have 16 layers. Fifth fold, I have 32 layers of paper. Sixth fold, eh. I think that's probably about as far as I can go. I've got 64 layers of paper. You may have been able to go further. If we could go further, the numbers would be 128 layers, 256 layers, and 512 layers. I want to show you these numbers in expanded form. This is the number two. This is two times two, which is four, as you know. Eight is two times two times two. Two times two is four. Multiply that by two again, and you get eight. Sixteen. is four twos multiplied together, four factors of two multiplied together. 32 is five factors of two multiplied together. In exponent form, this is two squared. This is two to the power of three. This is two to the power of four. And this is 2 to the power of 5. If we work backwards, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And 1, I know this is very, very strange. And this is just like an extra little piece for your knowledge. That you, it's not important in sixth grade to remember it. Number one is two to the power of zero. 
I want you, however, to focus on these ones, really. So 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5. Those are the more important ones to focus on. We can also fill out our table all the way up to the ninth, ninth fold. 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 9. And in here, I'd like you to fill out how many times you're multiplying by 2. That's 6 factors of 2. This is 7 factors of 2. This is 8. Becoming a little bit more of a squish now. And this is 9. Now, I want you to see these in standard form, how quickly the numbers are going up. We're not just multiplying by two each time. In fact, we are. I'm sorry. We are multiplying by two each time. So sorry about that, guys. So each time as you go along, you're multiplying by two. Each time as you come down, you are multiplying by two. And you can see how quickly the numbers grow. This is called exponential growth, and it goes up much, much quicker than regular multiplication. I'm going to leave you with that thought for our video for today. And we're going to carry on with a formative exit ticket after this video. Thank you for listening.